What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So last week Apple dropped iOS 16.4 RC and just yesterday they released the full build for the general public in 16.4. Now if you guys follow the channel you know we had a, a ton of issues including overheating and battery drain with 16.4 in general with that RC. I'm happy to say Apple has updated the build number for the actual public release. We've been using it now for a day and I wanted to give you guys some feedback. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I want to give you guys a couple of tests with the ProMotion display, the heating issues and all that, and show you guys how it's improved. Let's go. Jumping right into it, using the same test we did last week, I am happy to announce that they have much improved the heating and the heat dissipation on here. As you can see, when you go to the highest end of the phone, uh, where most of the heat lies, it's low 90s or high 80s. And this is Fahrenheit, obviously. So for those of our international users, it's not Celsius. But you can see this is a huge improvement over what we were getting last week when we were running the RC build. And it was running over 106 to 107 degrees a lot of the time. So this new build has improved on that. We ran the same test before doing this. So it is a little warm. You can feel it, but it is not crazy by any means. Beyond that, logging in. As you guys can see here on the Dynamic Island, we went ahead and activated the ProMotion display refresh rate and the frames per second. And again, I'm happy to say when scrolling now, it is going up to 120, dropping to 80 or 60, but no other drops below that. So it has been very smooth and it is refreshing as you would anticipate and expect it to do. Also, when you actually jump into a video, you'll see that the frames are not dropping. This is an HDR 4K video, but obviously it's not playing at 4K. If you were to actually rotate it and then go back, you can see frames per second went up and down to 62, but never below 60 FPS. Uh, good to see again, nothing is dropping, so there's no extra stutter or lag there. You can see even now with a video playing, the refresh rate on that ProMotion is working as anticipated also. The difference in this build from the other one, if we jump into settings, general, and about, you can see our prior version was 20E246. This is now 20E247, so a slight improvement, but a newer build nonetheless. So having said that, I can comfortably say, say now, this is much improved. We have had none of those issues we'd experienced earlier and talked about. So I'm assuming it's still not gonna be flawless. Apple's new track record with uh, software updates has not been the best. But if you're looking at it and excited for 16.4, hit that download button, get it now, get all those new emojis, get all the new HomeKit, uh, HomeKit architecture, all of those push notification for web apps, all the other improvements you want, download it right now. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.